Martin sent a bot lane here, replacing that Nautilus with another one of the tanks, which would be very fun for me to see because this is something I've been wanting for a while. Uh, Cho'Gath is one of the ones that had some popularity around the world. The Telegrubbies here. Do you, are you a big fan of uh, the episode one of the Telegrubbies going each way? <laughs> uh, it's, it's looking pretty good. Uh, fight their way in. Blabber moves straight down after he's pushed off the Grubs. Berserker and Vulcan move over. Gonna be able to once get active on the map and see what he can get done. And that's important. They play with a lot of vision around the top side of the map, and they're doing so right now as well. They gonna have a pretty heavy trade on the mask here. As Berserker is gonna show up. The rest of IMT are here too. Season assist goes in. He misses the ulti over the wall. The perfect execution, but it's first blood for IMT. He traded right back though to Blabber. And both yeah. are kind of exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but Talia is in the area. Okay, so Blabber did get one, but he'll go down Ooh. immediately afterwards. I don't know if that was worth it, but at least you deny the grubs. One for one. Grub for a Blabber. Grub for a Blabber. <laughs> you know, same thing. We're not going to talk about scuttle crabs. We're going to talk about grubs now. Exactly. Well, five grubs denied. Mission accomplished. Whether or not it was worth it, well, that remains to be seen. Close. But we got a TP now coming in for Fudge. Yeah, he's going to come try to join the party. So is Castle. It looks like we're going to get a 5v5 here. Orn Horn has been sounded. Armeo, he can't get it. Blabber's the one that steals it away. You got to be careful on the backside of this one because Fudge had an angle. Blabber's all by himself, though, and he's all alone against Castle. He just gets soloed out again. Castle. Ken Ziggs, Ken Jace poke you out prior to the fight. Do they deny your opportunity? Chat looks like it's, they just have to be able to defend their tier two because Harold is going to get dropped. This tier one is going to be gone, no problem. As long as they can defend the tier two. Separate a little bit here. Jojo not moving down just yet. I feel like Cloud9 maybe giving up that position. Ornhorn comes through. They can find that distance though. They do lock down our mail. But fight. here comes another spike fight. It's going to be a 50 50 that Flabber wins all day long. As the dragon goes down, the fight continues. Ole is getting caught out here. There's the season assist. Everything over top of it. Jojo's all by himself. Yeah, Jojo gets burst down, but Cloud9 do get it. They're gonna continue with the Weaver's oh, Wall. Oh, Mass trying to make the hero play, but he's getting pounced on. He's gonna flash over now, too. They've actually caught out Vulcan. The big engage is gone. Mask all by himself. Two mid laners. Name a better duo. Is now Armeo is trying to chase down Blabber, but that's not a fight you want to hear. Cloud9, it's a great smite there from Blabber. This time, does nail it. Cloud9 it. would like to grab, but he's gonna push forward, take another tower. And he is very far ahead now in this 1v1. Over 3,000 gold ahead in the isolated 1v1 from where Fudge is. So there's just no contesting Mile here. IMT, they have the saving grace of having beat Cloud9 in the first round, Rob, and they're gonna try to do it again. They fight in over here, though. They find Jojo. The Dawning Shadow has come across to try to save him, but Armeo's not letting him go. He does end up getting out with the dash. Now Castle's in. Mask. That's a little bit of trouble. Mask wants to find Jojo. The flash over, though, and he gets him in the end. Armeo's getting low now, though. Castle is running away from Fudge and Vulcan, the two tanks of Cloud9. Blaver and Berserker are coming on the other side. Vulcan buying a lot of time, and they might get a ton of shutdowns here. Shutdown went straight to Blabber's pocket, but now INT, they're refocused, they're refighting, and they're taking down Berserker. As Cloud9 only have two members left, Fudge and Blabber, you gotta run away! Ole doesn't want to let you though! As he's going down, that's a double kill for IMT's mask! Immortals are getting everything! They're taking the dragon on the other side of the map as well. Fudge gonna look for the turnaround. Call it fate, call it destiny, IMT are murdering Cloud9. 6,000 gold lead, they deny the soul as well. They are just focusing JoJo so heavily, even though he reacted instantly with the Shroud. He died, but he's gonna be able to do nothing about it. And this is the game really getting out of hand now for Cloud9. His losses, you know, when they're ahead, they're winning a lot more games. They're performing so much better. They had created that early advantage and it is paying dividends. You can look how rich the Ziggs is now, significantly ahead of his counterpart on the other side, and look at the Jace poke. That's 60% of the HP gone from Berserker. And when you're ahead, this comp feels so ridiculously strong. You can't even sit under tower. Your tower is burned down so quickly because of the Ziggs, and you're just losing multiple waves of pressure. I mean, this game is looking almost over here for Cloud9. It's gonna take a, a series of miracles, it feels like at this point, for them to be able to come back. This would be Immortals going 2-0 versus Cloud9 on the split. They were the ones gonna look for an angle. We'll see if he can find the kick onto a key member. He's gotta find it. There he goes. He gets the kick back on a mask, but the tempered fate buys time and Blabber's just gone. 
them. IMT moving forward. They got some tanks to burn through, and Mask has already gone off the table, too. Armeo stepping forward. He gets that shield from the Sterics, and he's back at it again. Cloud9 do do some damage back. Yeah, they get something, but again, look at the health bars. Look at the cooldown spent. What do you do now? You have no wave clear. So yes, they do get a trade of kills, but they're still going to lose their mid lane inhibitor. There's no way you can defend that. Cloud9 is so ulti reliant, so hard engage reliant. There are four melee champs and a center. Trying to find one angle to get that fight going. Yeah, the Bard ult traded out there. Cloud9 knows they're, they're running out of time because again, this wave comes in. This is the timing. There's now supers in top. Fudge is maybe going to look for a deep TP. He's going to go for it. Oh, the tower's already gone though. They're just trying to find the play. Fudge goes over the wall. He's on Armeo, but they turn right on him. He flashes immediately out. He's scared, but Armeo, he's trying to flash himself out of there. Vault Breaker back in. He's still alive. Finally goes down to the execution of Jojo, but Ole's here and Mass cleans up the kill on the Fudge. Now Vulcan just gets blasted by Castle and they're on to the base here. But Blabber just killed Tactical, so Tactical is actually gone. Berserker's on the run. If he can stay alive, doesn't look like he can, but if he could, Cloud9 maybe can hang on a little bit oh. longer. I don't know. They're back onto the turrets here. The win in their eyes. Castle and Ole and Maz. They want to make this happen. They want to make over half of their, or at least half their wins over Cloud9 here. They get one more. Blabber's all by himself now. Two shots not going to be there. As the shock glass does not connect, the last tower does fall. And IMT, they're on to the Nexus. They will take down Cloud9 and score a full 100% win rate against the would be super team in the spring split. What, what do you feel about the draft? That's going to be a Rumble locked in for NRG. Yeah, the Rumble is interesting. I want to see if he is able to get push on the top side because Renekton, as we've seen, is just... He didn't lose the, the fear game with Inspire doing that gank. Honestly, ooh, nice oh, flash hook. play. Nice little lollipop hook there as well. Mossu's in some trouble. Busio's going down first. First blood goes over. The big... Up, okay, is not the best start for FlyQuest. Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially given how good their level one was. His Bwipo's in oh, a lot Bwipo. of trouble. Oh, Bwipo! Solo Bolo for Big Dokes! Man, I have got to say, FlyQuest side lanes have completely thrown away what was such a good level one. But then you can't walk back to the tower, so it's actually really kind of True. difficult oh, here. Oh, God, it's so difficult. They are getting the dragon on the other side of the map, so they'll have that first Infernal wow. dragon. Feels like that's pretty decent. I think they would have likely gone for the dive. They may yeah. still mm. do it, as they haven't seen him in a long time. They're going to look for it anyway. They are. They get the wall bang on FBI there as well. Busio sets up with the hostile takeover. Inspired's going to flash out of there. They are having a little bit of trouble taking down Huhi here. He got a lot of Ren stacks, but it's not going to be enough. Finally, it goes down. What would be Godzilla finally killed in FlyQuest on the board? They're still sticking to their original game plan as the fight happens top Revenge? lane as well. Revenge? That's a big old croc as uh, Bwipo just taking that trade in Dokla. Uh, you're not just going to walk up and ask if you're going to beat Mike Tyson in a fight. <laughs> Bias based analysis. I like it. Uh, Bwipo has found himself in an alcove gameplay situation. Dokla is still trying to take him out. But Inspired is here with the Keeper's Verdict. I don't think he's going to be able to get it going for him. And unfortunately, Bwipo will It's going to be in. a lot of scrapping around that top side. Rushing a support item. We'll see if it works out. Oh, who he tries his best Spider-Man impression, but can't get the wall there as Contracts and FBI trying to escort him out. FlyQuest just don't have the sticking power yet. The Grubs were the contest, though. Yeah, Energy gets one, so they'll prevent the six Grubs, but I think Inspired should be able to walk in there and get rid of the rest oh, of Dokla, though. <laughs> He's looking to kite him out here, though. That's a lot of Ren stacks in Dokla. Who's going to take him out? Big Dokes again with another... I mean, you have got to respect Rumble, when, especially when Rumble overheats. The amount of damage that's coming yeah. out is actually crazy from this champion. He's going to equalize the wave. The Cannon Minion is there, which will buy them some time, but Busio Inspired looking for an angle. Dokla didn't leave. He's probably yeah. dead. He's got no flash. He does not have the speed up here. And Dogla gets taken out, and it's by Bwipo. He's stronger in a 4v4, though. I love these mind games being played by Inspired and Contract. Meanwhile, mind dive. games topside. They are Drake. completely diving Dokla. They don't get him. The last rock thrown by Jensen will end up securing the kill. Dragon started up by NRG. I do really like that play by FlyQuest, though. They decided that the Drake wasn't a priority, but they didn't completely tip their hand. They did try and stay around mid lane to make it seem like they wanted to contest it. And that's a good call by Jensen and Whippo to say, it's just the second Drake. We're a little behind in the game. We don't have the item power spikes. Let's just get gold. Go for the flashless rumble in the top lane. Not only do they get the kill, they can get a lot of turret plates too. Go, Masu just get fully locked down. Ooh. As he gets the flash. 
Flash from Ahuhi, that anchor will take his life. I just need to think about it a little bit more so because of the veterancy on the top side of the map for FlyQuest and, and playing around in the LCS. Wow. And he is having another really good split. This guy has been performing. I it, when I was talking to him, the quickness of decision makings in the mm. LCS has been really hard for him to go through. Exactly. That's something that a lot of people will tell you is that you know when they go up into the LCS, it is very different. You start to realize that there are levels to these things. These mm -hmm. players are going to punish moves that you didn't even know were mistakes, and you have to yeah. adjust over right, Because people forget about the splits in the middle, right? So last split, actually, he didn't lose a single game. <laughs> and he got a tattoo. But here's Quipo going Oh, man. Yeah, Quipo's just caught in the middle of the conversation. Yeah, spawn instead, just going for gold. Don't oh, hit the wall. Oh, okay. I thought Woo. he was going to hit the wall for sure. <laughs> Uh, FBI's got the Baronet cleanse immediately. Now, NRG should have the right of way to this dragon, but Jensen wants to cut off the rest of the team here. Who he's getting chunky gets blocked back too, but that is big. He's still alive, gets bailed out as well. FlyQuest take one, and now they move on to the dragon, but it's already gone from contracts and NRG. Thing, all, all the downs that NRG's had the split, as Pal Fox is playing fairly aggressive with Zolt. Oh. They, only a game away from FlyQuest with the win. So much oh my action, God. though. Wow. What? <laughs> They're giving me a little taste of the LPL here as we get a shutdown going over to Masu in the mid lane because they took down Palafox. Contracts was gone in the bot side. They can't get FBI. Ooh. He's skating them around here. And he's got those shots. He wants one more. The flat from Busio, but who he with another one. And that anchor's coming for them all. Wow, what a nice play there from FBI. Is they're going to go again? We just can't right. stop fighting. Palafox is down to a killing spree for Masu. They fight again in the mid lane. They should very well try and force Baron or at least play that way so energy has to check. Yeah, I thought they were going to try to at least force the, the TP from who he started. Yeah. FBI is very comfortable on. Yes. This is one of his most played. He's played it five times. You know, Renekton. Oh, right. Whippo just gets completely caught wanting, though. He's Everything's right. used to save him now. Equalizer back, but it ain't going to equalize anything because Masu goes on a rampage. Onto Whippo, they think they can uh, get the kill, but it gets turned around and contracts gets burst down. I mean, the fact that that now, apparently Baron already started about halfway. And can red. Contracts is on his way here. Equalizer goes down. Can contracts get the 50 50? Cannot. Inspired cleans it up. And now who he is overextended himself. But Pal Fox wants to go in too. NRG are stepping forward. They want an engage. But Whippo, he pulls the trigger first. And FlyQuest are running down NRG. Dokla's getting his health ripped from his life. But I think who he wants a little bit of a fight. They might have heard that fist fight allegation and want more. But FlyQuest answer in kind with that. Showing hit. that right now, Energy doesn't have enough physical damage to kill them. They have a lot of MR on the Renekton. He's able to play like a Giga Tank, and really, FlyQuest have completely turned the game over. Yeah, they're doing So, five cumulative levels across solo lanes because they're constantly able to push sides. The Talia is threatening, the Poppy's looming, and it allowed Making them. Making the difference. He has six levels on FBI. Jesus. He's a big crocodile. Trender here in the LCS. Also speaking of trending, we got the Weaver's Wall in to block off the turret. The wall bang there from Inspired under tower onto Huhi. NRG are wow. trying to fight back, but they lose one. The Crypt Bloom's starting to come in clutch here. Inspired will fall too. So it's a one for one, but FlyQuest continue the siege with the Baron buff. Yeah, really interesting sequence there. They can burst down Huhi so quickly but Inspired gets a little too aggressive. It shouldn't really matter, though, since Whippo can still just press yeah. R, be this 4,000 health threat, and they can pretty easily clear that in Hib. Because right now, it looks like FlyQuest has a 80, 85 percent chance. You know, with the, the unworked ground, so it's really difficult for energy to find anything. Like, how do you walk in here? Yeah, it's very difficult. You see they're trying to pick through the mask here to find a way in. Just, if they go for it, if Dokla just can get a big I'll equalizer at least. There it is. Contract's in the pit. Contract's gonna get the Baron oh. too. El Contracto is now Blippo. Goes ham though. Over on to Huhi. Trading that kill back for the Baron. Uh, I think if, oh FBI, what? This is very dangerous. He's, He's got to get those 13 stacks. Oh, he gets the flat oh, wall no. bang from Inspired. It gets completely outplayed. Jensen is unstoppable. That's a big mistake there. I don't think it's going to matter that much. They should still be able to hold their nexus from this, but they'll probably lose an inhibitor in a 5v4 here. 
And that means inhibs on top and bottom That's gone. Tough. Super minions across the side lanes in a team comp that feels really good to kind of pick apart the map. Energy are struggling. Yeah, he steps in, gets the kick on Inspired. Inspired was trying to channel up the Poppycopter and knock him out. Now they maybe found another Ooh, pick. Energy were the ones that started that one off, and they're looking okay. to finish it too. Nice little double knock up from Inspired. But here comes FlyQuest on the front to back. So you got to be really careful. Jensen's full health out. Fuepo's healing up a storm. They've already got one. Give a double kill to Masu. They want more. Masu's stepping forward. He's going to get burned down, though, himself as Palafox. Wait until this next one comes in. I just love it. Whippo is giving his body to the team, it feels like, in these fights, consistently being that frontline engage. And they will finally take an inhibit. Won't be all three at the same time. Try to go They're for the TPing. End. Yeah, Jets is in there like swimwear, baby. And they have an open Nexus turret waiting for them. Oh, Energy a take down Busio. But here comes FlyQuest. They want to make sure they make revenge for losing that first round. Robin against NRG. And it's at the hands of Whippo and Jensen. They're trying to take down the last tower here. I don't think they can do it. Doklas oh. still there. Doklas burning him to a crisp. A thousand gold shut down and give another 600 to Palafox. It's total chaos who he's trying to delay Masu and Inspired. They're going for the Drake. Inspires your I think Contrast Contrast is coming back. It. He's My back. God. This is absolutely insane. Look at all those Ren Wait. stacks. The Keeper's he burning. It hits him. And the Dragon will be secured by Masu. Oh my God. This game is insanity, man. FlyQuest tried to go for the game ender. They probably could have just won the fight at the Dragon, but they end up trying to go for it. Palafox ulted and flashed over the wall to try to get out of there. Now he's going for the chase down oh, here. Man. He, he still has the charm. He is so angry and inspired here, and it hits the charm on the Krug. What? Palafox ends up getting the kill in the end, but the Krug's tried to save FlyQuest's life. Whippo may be going to get caught out here. Oh, yeah. Oh. He's been a key the entire game, and they know to focus him. He goes right back in for the 1v4, but it will go oh. right down as FBI claims it. Man, he flashed him, but the charm was shooting. Oh, oh Jensen's caught, too. They actually take him down. Shut down. Go the Pal Fox. Nice keeper's verdict. Get a couple members out for FlyQuest. And it actually means the FlyQuest want to turn back around. Face call They're used on the Dokla. They've got Who's a decent behind? game. Okay. They've got the flank here from NRG. And they might just turn it all around 40 minutes into the game. FlyQuest. They're getting dusted off the back of it. And <laughs> FBI has hit the stack. And he's completely blowing them up. They lost another Nexus turret there to the minions. They, they, he was trying to do it for a big empowered queue on multiple people to get that heal and buy time. But the charm from Palafox caught him as he went in. He never got the queue off. He didn't get the healing through. Now Whippo's back. Double it's DP coming fight. through. Can they win this fight? It's dead even now, but it might not be for long. Whippo takes the engage here, but Jensen, he can't find the seismic shove. GA gotta be popped here. He's Whippo needs to find a way free. out, but he can't get it. The charm doesn't connect, but it doesn't matter. That croc's going down anyways. Palafox. Oh, oh, nice little denial they from who he yeah, that's it. it. That's it. The rend is there and soul secured. And they have minions. They have Baron. They got 170 cent of range oh at the moment. My God. So let's see what they can do. They are pushing into the base. Mid lane is uh, the siege potential here. Baron still ticking as Inspired wants to pull them off. Nice little dredge line from Huhi, but Ivo overextended himself a little bit. Dawning Shadow to save the day, and they just can't tank through the front line of NRG. A minute more of Baron. I think they got three quarters of the turret on that first wave. They should be able to finish the turret here. Inspired got pushed back, so it should be an inhibitor broken here. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be able to step up and take this down. You know, the wave clear, not enough. It's getting really dicey here. You can see Busio trying to find an angle for a potential hostile takeover. Inspired looking for a flank around as well. He's going to try to reject someone, oh, and now they're going to look for the fight. They want it, and who he can't get the connection there. This might have been the pick that fly needed. They get the Nautilus, they get the front line, and now onto the mid lane. Yeah, they're going to look to try to push for the base. Energy trying to make something happen here while the Baron buff is still active. They only have 30 seconds remaining. Oh, they know the Nexus is open. Nice kick from okay. Contracts denying the end gate there. Inspired gets caught by Palafox. So Inspired up. is gone. Now Dokla is gone too, trading off the kills. But range is at the advantage of FBI. They've got the range. They've got the distance. But Whippo wants to close that distance. He's got it. As now uh, Palafox is just down and out. Jensen gets the shutdown. Masu's kiting. Oh, and in FlyQuest, they're fighting too. Nail here, FBI's gone, and FlyQuest, they've just done it.
It's an absolute banger between these two teams fighting tooth and nail, but FlyQuest finally make it happen. Are you not entertained, LCS? FlyQuest versus NRG turns out to be an absolute banger. It's not going to be the longest of the split, but FlyQuest will move themselves to 9 and 4 and get revenge on NRG's first round robin. 43 kills in 44 minutes. It's on your screen. Um, maybe they're just waiting for something. Okay, never mind. I won't even bring it up. Okay. <laughs> All right. We've got some all chat going here that it seems like everything is going to go smooth. Okay. You can see XU's nowhere nearby. He's on the other side of the map. They also have the ward down in the brush next to the enemy chicken pit. To Back see down it. to the tier one turret, but it is a four man move coming out from Dignitas. Yawn should be your target here with the start. Dove comes over the wall. The damage goes through and it's first blood. Back to so Dove. You got your bottom lane with control to help you do it. Not really a big of a deal as, uh oh, Gorge J gets rooted up there. Nice little bit of free damage for the Dignitas yeah, bot Life and death on bottom side pertains to running away. Yep, it's looking more like death now as Yawn is caught in a bad spot. Tomo and Isles going in looking for him here. Tomo does end up having to spend the Feather Storm to guarantee the, the T1 Gen G game um, very recently, if you have Canyon Whoa. rushing it, then everybody's gonna do it. APA? APA shows up top side to guarantee top they get side, they do kill the Nar. Uh, it's gonna give some turret plate money. Obviously, it's gonna cost them dragon. Got the number. flash for the outplay. So they're just gonna have to resign themselves to giving up. Ooh. You can see the attempt at the shattering strike there from XU to knock APA off of the Weaver's wall, but he ain't gonna find him here. Isles wants the quickness, but he doesn't connect on anybody, and now Dignitas, they have to disengage. Here comes your Cyclone. There's a Wukong ulti you wanted as Isles needs to get back over the wall, flashing out of the Herald Pit as Dignitas do not get what they wanted there. Even? Well, it's probably the, probably the thing with the power. Here we go, though. Rift Herald in. Charge gonna be able to one-shot this tower. Bang! And then XU can just jump right back out anyway. Puts the pressure on TL for the rest of the game. But now it's XU looking for the engage. Magnet Storm finds Core JJ. A lot of burst, but it ain't enough to kill him here at the very start just yet. Now Impact's gonna be your focus. Meanwhile, on the other side, it's Isles and Dove trying to fight the rest of Team Liquid. Impact is still alive somehow. He gets himself away, but Core JJ drops first. Yawn drops second. Dove zoning out. APA completely zoned out while the rest of Dignitas cleaned up the kills. Massive from them. They just. Decimate on turrets, man. There's two kinds of turrets: yeah. a living one or a dead one. Exactly, and that's <laughs> still a living one. You're either dead or alive. Binary status for turrets. Don't have the Aurelian Soul Smolder combo like in their game yesterday. You can't just dig in your heels, try to defend, and be like, "Don't worry, we're gonna stack up. We're gonna get there." These two together can instantly say, "Right here, right now, fight." Yeah, you have to keep your carries separate. Right now, Dignitas messing around. Okay, Core JJ is going to be your target as the Magnet Storm erupts. Umpty dropping the Cyclone, trying to stop the engage as Isles uses the quickness. They're going to lock down Impact here with the very start as XU's first to drop. Isles and the rest of Dignitas. They still have control over the bot side river. Magnet Storm for XU, ready to go once more. APA trying to get away. XU looks for him, but there's your seismic shove. Umpty has to disengage back over the wall, but once more, it's XU here in the front, trying to stay alive. Core JJ and everybody else from TL gonna be locked up for the quickness as XU's first to drop. Team Liquid still staying alive for now as Dove is about to drop here from the stasis. You got him back in the back, keeping everybody else occupied. He just might die. He just <laughs> might not. Impact walks away. They won't find him here with the feathers just yet. He's still got to try to get the hell out of town. Town is very dangerous. He's going into he goes town. The wall. He He's going to use the teleport. He's going to get away once again. Back to back games. Team Liquid flipped in the early game. But the mid game, they know how to navigate, it seems here. And our final start to see some magic resist now picked up as well. Weaver's wall used to get Team Liquid extra firing time on the tier one turret. But now Isles is ready to go in. He finds the quickness on multiple targets, followed up by the Magnet Storm. Dignitas need to do some more damage. The health bars on TL are largely unaffected. Dove has to try to get back away as Umpty's still spinning around, staying alive. The first kill comes through and it's APA dead in the dirt. A shutdown comes back over to Yawn as Rich falls, but Dignitas are winning the fight. Tomo goes forward and Umpty has to be barren for sure. Nicely done from Dig. They only lose Rich. They get three, almost four. Umpty just barely. Who's got all the firepower? The guy with the cannons. Three, zero, and four. 100% kill participation for Tomo Zaya as well, as they knock down the tier as two. Dub tries to run interference and keep APA away. Drake down to 6K, down to 4K. Dig just want to burn it. 
Team Liquid's trying to come in, but there it is, Infernal Soul. But Team Liquid doesn't want to take the fight. They know they're down 3,000 gold. They know they don't have the soul. Umpty popping the clone, just trying to create some space again. Dignitas do not have the Narvar charged up, but here comes a Magnet Storm into the quickness. Core JJ is going to be here on the very front, as Impact is also reinforced with the shield. Umpty's trying to fight, but Double the Wall has damage. Umpty has to try to get away as he's burning and burning and burning to the Leandres. They're not going to find him just yet, but they already found Yawn. It's a one for nothing, a two for nothing, a three for nothing. Dignitas are crushing Team Liquid. Yes, they are! Two layered engage. Yawn flashed away from the rail, but guess what? After they make the return about 10 seconds later, Rich is able to get onto him with the Meganar, immediately take down the Aphelios and Dignitas. They're gonna destroy the base at this point. Bottom side pushing hard. At least Umpty gonna be died. Yeah, okay. Well, he, well, they're gonna win the game then. Yeah, um, Umpty just died back in mid lane. He is dead. Dignitas now with a 5v1. Yawn and Core JJ both about to respawn here in under 10 seconds. Impact's gonna be back in 15. APA in a 1v5 trying to get away as Rich hits Whoa. him with the boulder over the top of the head. Stasis for APA to survive the dive from Dove. They turn it around, they take out Phew. the Dignitas. This TL team does not want to rush at you, especially since they don't have flashes for either carry. APA, big cooldown on his flash. Yawn's is coming up kind of soon, so maybe they wait for Yawn's flash and hope for a miracle. Well, Dove took a big chunk over the wall there. With your mid laner down to half HP, I don't think Dignitas really wants to commit to a full fight here just yet, but they are going to find Umpty's clone. Not really a whole lot. Got TP him. now for Dove. He's ready to go. I think Dignitas are going to look for the fight. Core JJ tries to initiate, but he takes a lot of burst here immediately. Umpty is already down before we can contribute much of anything at all. However, he's traded back for Isles. It's already a triple kill for Tomo. Dignitas just won the game. Penta! Penta kill for Tomo! Beautifully done. It's big gig here in the Super Week to end Team Liquid's attempt of having that 3-0 week. They're going to stop them in their tracks. They're going to march it into the Nexus. And Dignitas are going to tie them in the standings and take Team Liquid down 34 minutes in. Oh, to play an AD carry with a good front line. To be able to have that. And we get the Yone lock okay. in. So it is that swap we were kind of teasing earlier where they then put the Talia in River's hands. Quid. Quid has just been exceptional on a lot of these melee. Both junglers looking at the top side. Boogie only level three, River level four. Sniper has pushed up very far. Boogie and River both entering into the fight at the same time. Sniper still at half. Fake got down to 200, gets knocked away. Sniper's got the first blood. This is reset and head to the bottom side. Oftentimes, even if you're delayed, you'll try and trade your dragon. Um, but, you know, Boogie does have a couple of options here. Top lane's getting chunked and the wave is pushing in. He might look for a dive, even though he's not level six on the Volley Bear, it can't turn off the tower. If you've got flash, you can flash stun combo uh, into the Renekton and have enough damage without the ulti. Fake God, very strong at this point. Popping the Dominus, Boogie takes the turret aggro first, and that means uh -oh. Sniper's gonna outplay him. He might just be able to get both. Uh -oh. There's a shock blast, a double kill. Now he is playing Suffering Simulator 2024, and now Boogie is not about to have a good time either. Uh -oh. He's immediately gonna get locked up, burst down, River taking the kill that time, as this one's probably gonna be even bloodier as Sniper tries to get away, and Zazel wants to finish him off. The shutdown back there, of uh, I mean, there's a ton of DP Yes, here from 100 Thieves, and yep. they, they did have a good counterplay there, but... Ooh, Sniper, he tried to take one with them, but... Like, okay, 100 Thieves comms actually got a counter gank in place. They had two members there, so he's yep. kind of baiting stuff, but the second one, the repeat does, does cost them, and it does mean it's probably going to be a six-grub game for Shopify Rebellion. Yep. That will help out a ton in some of their side lane pushing later on. Mm -hmm. um, there is even a lot of time left in the game for them to get turret plate money, so maybe... Fine type of guy. You've already got your top laner with three kills on the board. Yone's up 20 CS. Yeah. Flowers is going down pretty quickly. Yes, River sir. uses his ults. All right, Weaver's Wall flew out. Teleport's coming in for both sides. Shopify ready to try to fight for this. Quid has to go over the wall, but Zazel chases him. Sniper's already killed Fake God, and Boogie's about to burn to death. He tries to get over the wall back with the ulti to stay alive. The kill onto the Yone at least comes through, but Meech is ready to go to Reset City. Boogie tries to escape, but Sniper goes to the sky. Thieves. Yeah, you're on a pretty quick timeline in this game. Since they're pushing so quickly, and they can just retreat back to Dragon number two after they get this tower, 
again, at least get one kill for themselves. Looks like they might still do that as a lot of members are heading towards the top side, but Ayla's here too. One thing I want to say, uh, nerf Smolder, anyone riot. <laughs> if anyone is watching, please help me. I'm please that. help me in my games, please. Vouch. I'll sign. I'll go sign. Gold lead, basically a full item for uh, General Sniper in the top lane, 2,300. Uh -oh. You cursed him. Quid. Oh. <laughs> no! Curse. You literally no! You cast that spell, brother! <laughs> no! Hunter Thieves stand no chance in this game. <laughs> he was he was so locked in, too, on, on the scoreboard, on the gold. And now you get your bounty and you get your objective bounty in the tower afterwards there for Shopify Rebellion. Shopify finally getting something to go a little bit their way. Hunter Thieves will some mistakes from your opponents. Meanwhile, they just have a Yone solo the dragon. Uh, you've got lifesteal on the Blade of the Rune King. He will just annihilate that. Oh, he was soloing it and wants the tempo play of pushing lane quicker. Ayla engaging here against Shopify. The rest of the team isn't immediately ready, but the Blast Cone gets Ayla away to safety. Now Boogie has to jump back over the wall, but Sniper's ready to gun him down. Zazel has to try to escape, but Quinn's already killed off Boogie. Shopify are trying to resist, but 100 Thieves are way too far ahead. River finds another one. Well here, uh, doing quite well for himself. Nice little uh, shove there. They get the easy Baron, then they can reset and go grab. To do exactly that. Looks like the rest of the team gonna rotate over. They've decided Dragon Soul not going to be critical for 100, 100 thieves. thieves, but with Baron and two lanes crashing flowers, this is going to be a lot more gold in their pocket. Yes, sir. We are starting to see some structures. It's, it's too dangerous to stick out in the middle. Oof. Oh, man. B boy, no flash here. Boy, trying to, oh, nicely played there with the killer instinct to go back over to Sniper and take him out instead. But now Zazel's caught in the middle of three thieves, and I don't think he's getting away. Quid's got the knockup and the damage as Meech continues free firing back into Boogie. Mid lane inhibitor taking the damage now as Insanity tries to stop these guys, but you just can't do it. The lead is way too much. TP coming back in mid now, looking to cut him off. Fake God sees the angle for the flank, but Meech is still fighting. He rocket jumps back over the top. The seismic shove through the unravel earth and fake god is instantly stopped in his tracks river goes over the wall fake god is burning but the shield saves him just in time Insan to the dragons yeah it's a chemtech soul but it's like still a soul and they could have been on the timer a lot longer ago completed for quids yone this guy hits like a truck now as the weaver's wall comes in and the burst finds zazel to start the fight boogie has to run away from the depth charge as the tier three turret falls and another dredge line connects insanity's the target and meets just barely misses out on the kill. Shopify running for their lives back into the fountain as 100 Thieves keep it going. 100 Thieves now beginning to knock down the front door. One turret cut down, one last chance. Here we go, Ayla with the pull on in. Fake God gets cut down. Quinn is in the Nexus and does fall, but it looks like Meech is gonna shell as Tristana. B-Boy is not there. Forget curses, folks! <laughs> this curse has been broken! As they will cut down the Nexus oh. as Meech wants more! GG, 100 Thieves! Still fighting for first place in the LCS! Big smile on Sniper's face, the beginning of the game.